Hey everyone, welcome back to Essence Awaken on my TikTok. And if you're on my YouTube, welcome back as well. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Um, also, just to let everyone know really fast that I had posted some links. Um, if you have not checked that out, definitely go check out my other TikTok. Um, I posted some stuff on there where you can be able to book me if you want a personal reading. I'm still doing my 11 11 for January. Okay. Also, my you can follow me on my YouTube, which is Essence Awaken, and then also on my Instagram as well. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. So I was shuffling the cards and I wanted to know like what's going on with the collective? What's the overall energy? And so the energy that came out with well, the card that came out for the overall energy is karma, balance, and justice. So you could be a Libra. Because Libra is, you know, that goes with Libra, like, you know, balancing the scales. But what I'm getting from that is that I'm hearing something about justice. You know, they're needing to, something about justice that you, that you want to get justice for something that has happened between you and another person. You had to distance yourself from this person. That was the next card that came out. You distance yourself from this person only because there was no stability or harmony or flow in in the situation with this person and that's why you're in the energy i'm hearing something about karma so they could have been dealing with the karma uh karmic and in that situation there was no when you was dealing with this person there was no like no abundant there was no gratitude on how you treated this person you know they wasn't giving you that they wasn't giving your props and i feel like they went probably went to a karmic because i was hearing that to another karmic and the scales are being balanced out right now or for them that the scales are not being balanced like it's it's on hold for some for a reason on how they treated you we have shadow work and moon the dark night so i really feel like they're definitely um in a in a situation where they're in their you know having to understand um their dark side their shadow side they're trying to balance it out i'm also hearing that they're probably not listening to um, they're not listening. To, they're not trying to go through any shadow work. They were trying to uh, bypass it. You know, um, there's no empathy or breakthrough for them right now. Um, I really feel like there is. You know, because they're not open to receiving. Yeah, the the you know, the spirit is not giving this person no leeway. I'm hearing. Um, something about attraction of Mars. They could be a fire sign. Anything else for the collective? We have, yeah, apology and forgiveness. Yeah, whoever this person is who is a fire sign is not trying to come to you for, um, to ask for forgiveness for the way that... Hello, everyone. This is part two. Um, if you haven't watched part one, definitely go over there and watch that. So we left off with something. Um, whoever you were dealing with, it could have been a fire sign or um, an air sign. Because um, I was picking up, like, definitely Libra energy. We have fire as well, water. So pretty much, you know, just take it how it resonates for you. But with this with this person, if it was a fire sign or, you know, whatever zodiac sign they, zodiac sign they are, um, something about they're not wanting to come in to apologize or you feel like they're not going to come in and apologize to you, okay? But they're definitely not open, Is not they're not open to receiving, to understanding their dark side, understanding our accepting the trans the transformation that they're going through um you could also feel like this person had didn't have a lot of empathy when it came to you or the situation that's why you had to walk away to get self-love yeah this person is definitely in their head about uh, a lot of memories of you thinking of you nostalgia they have, um, they definitely have an unexpected storm that's coming towards them because of how, um, you know, the, the the energies have to be balanced. Yeah, spying, watching, um, and uh, something about them spying and watching. Maybe something had happened that they got caught up with a karmic or the person that they're that they left you for who who is a karmic because we have that energy here as well. Okay. And they probably got caught um, spying on you, on your social media. It could be, you know, driving past your house. They feel really gu guilty for sabotaging the situation. Yeah. See, this came on top of the storm and 
spying and watching. Yeah, I feel like this person that they're dealing with has a lot of control tactics that they're trying to control them. Big energy there, I'm hearing, of control. Um, but they're but they're not wanting to stay stagnant anymore. Anything else for the collective before I close it out? We have remembering awakening. They're not remembering who they are. There's something yeah. The person that they're dealing with is blocking them to remembering their awakening and coming to give you an offer. One more card and I'm gonna close out. Yeah. Lack and doubt. So I feel like you're not in any lack and doubt anymore, collective. That you just you definitely just moved on from the situation. And we have, yeah, they see person see they could have been a leo aries or sagittarius they have that in a chart we have north node and cosmic and purpose yeah they're not awakened to understanding their true purpose of who they are so that's all i have for you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye